Hey guys, and welcome back to uh, Metroid Prime 2, the Minimal Energy Run. Um, last time, I believe we were in a save room, and now I'm not in a save room anymore. Um, I went ahead and... Let me wait, 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 wait. Okay. Um, where is it? Uh, this is the save room that I was in. Uh, this is that first room, you know, that's where the, uh, the Grunchlers are in the water. And that's the bridge. And this is the, uh, the temple. So I am just below the temple. Uh, I went off to the right door, and I'm now in this tunnel. So, yeah, that's where I... <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, that's where I am right now. But, as I'm going through this tunnel, new enemies! What are they? They are Seed Bursters. They are little things. Exploding swarm of plant forms. Damn it, stop teaching grass types explosion! We already established that they're assholes! Ow! 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 Stop it! Thank you. Ugh. But yeah, they're basically just like the little, uh, oh, you know, they're just like the, uh, you know, the little seahorse guys, that's all they are. So, um, it is now time to face my demons, so we're gonna go through here, uh, okay, hang on. Aha, I knew that would work, okay, so, what I did just there... Uh, that was actually a test. I had no idea that that would work. Basically, um, you know how when you're trying to get a charge shot with your power beam, you press A? Wait, that was what? Yeah, you see, like that. Uh, most of the time when you're on the power beam, you press A and then hold it to start charging. But when you're on your other beams, you might not want to use up all your ammo. So, what I just did there was I swapped, and in the middle of the swapping animation, I'm still holding A. So, without using any ammo, I'm prepping a charge shot. So, if you want to be very, very stingy with your ammo, because you know what's coming up, do that. Because I know what's coming up. At least I seem to remember what's coming up. Where are you? Are they not here? Oh, there they are. Yeah, pirates. Wait a minute, are these regular ones? Whoa, whoa, what the hell? Okay, these are regular pirate commandos. Thank God, because now they can't teleport around. However, they do have an ability that's kind of annoying. They have that. Um. Ha ha, you're dead. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get out of here. Okay, freeze. Boom. Ugh. Oh. Yeah, regular pirate commandos are not bad. They are nowhere near as bad as the dark ones because they can't, uh, you know, they can't phase in and out of local time space. That's the worst thing that they can do. Uh, I don't really need dark beam ammo for now, but I'll go ahead and get some just to have it, you know what I mean? Uh, so yeah, uh, this video is going to be a, well, I assume it's going to be a treat because now you get to see me fight... Uh, the Boost Guardian. I mean, not right now, but, you know, it's coming up. It's coming up very soon. It's the next boss, and we are not far from him. So, yeah. Um, many people have asked, how do I do it? Many people have said, it's like, wow, is that even possible? Yes, it is possible. That uh, does not mean it's painless, but it's possible. By the way, there's a platform out there. Uh, I think you have to use a later item to get to it. Let me see, actually. Uh... I don't see anything. Come on. Maybe it's up? I think you have to use a later item to get there. I don't know if you're supposed to jump to it, or if you're supposed to see an invisible platform. The reason why I was shooting was because, uh, if I shot and then I found the invisible... Ugh, sorry. Like if, I, uh, like if I shot the invisible platform, I'd be able to tell because my bullet would stop there. So that's the only reason why I just kept shooting right there. Oh my god. And you know what I friggin... You know what I realized? Um, I guess by the time this goes up, it won't really matter because it will have been so long ago. But I was just... I never... Okay, how do I start this? Um, let me preface this by saying that uh, I never ever, like period, ever, watch my own videos. Oh, and by the way, this is a new enemy that's very annoying, but uh, they're not that hard to kill. They're Hunter Ring! Elite Warriors of the Ing Horde!
Phasing shapeshifter, deadly in close combat. Dislikes bright light. Yes, we know. Okay, ow, there's two of them. So, uh, these guys are annoying because they will, uh, they will go invisible every now and then. Like that. Come on, where are you going? I know there's two, so I don't know where the other one is. That's what's annoying me. Ah, hi. Ah, he died. So is there one more? Uh, I don't hear anything. Okay. Um, those guys are really annoying because they will follow you all around for the longest time. And their tentacle things, uh, they will, um, they'll stab at you with tentacles and stuff. Ha ha ha, get it? Tentacle hentai. Um, they'll stab at you with tentacles and it is so annoying because they'll knock you down from places like a million miles away and they never go away. Like, they don't just leave, you know? They're, like, once they see you, they're on you. They will not leave you alone. That's the thing. So they are very, very aggravating enemies. But um, they can be killed just as easily as pretty much anything else. You just gotta learn to, uh, you know, shoot them when they're actually physically in the world. So yeah, and it's it's really really easy to tell when they are. It's not like they're it's difficult to tell. But um, oh man. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and save because if I don't save here. Oh my god. This is the last save station before the uh, the boost guardian. So, you're going to want to take this. Even if you have full energy tanks, I recommend you still save. Because this guy can be a complete asshole. And, let me tell you. If I manage to do this in one try... Like, oh my god. That will be incredible. But okay. I remember I was talking about something earlier and I just kind of forgot to. By the way, you can kill these guys and they will drop a safe zone so you can deal with them. Um, I think I already mentioned that. But, anyway. I would, like, I, let me preface it by saying, I never, ever watch my own videos. Like, ever. Because, it's not because of any, like, um, like, God, I don't want to, what the hell? Oh my God, get in, thank you. It's not because, um, uh, I, you know, I don't know, it's weird, but I never watch my own videos. I don't really know the reason. It's not because I, like, hate myself or anything, it's just, I don't, I don't really know why. I know, I don't watch my videos. And hi, Boost Guardian. So anyway, I would, I just got done watching a few videos of my Let's Obliterate Twilight Princess. Oh my god, I did not give a shit back then. Oh my god, I had so much, I had such a mojo, man. I was like, oh my god, I was crazy. Man, I can't believe what I got away with and people still thought it was funny. And honestly, those first few videos, it cracked me up. And that's the other thing, like, I don't think, like, I'm not one of those people It's like, god, I'm so funny. You know, I'm not like that. But, oh my god, I killed myself some of those videos. But man, what, what happened to me? I used to be like, crazy and now I'm so like mellow and boring god I hope people still think I'm funny but okay this is the boost guardian I will I don't expect to get it in one try I really don't even though I know what I'm doing I don't expect to get it in one try because there's a little bit of an a uh, randomness element to it but uh the first time we do it I'll be explaining you know my tactics and then, from then on, I will probably not, uh, you know, I'll just cut to deaths. Unless I don't die, which I, I really don't think I'm going to make through this without dying. <sighs> Alright. Now, um, one thing to note, there is no safe zone in this fight. None. So you are stuck in here, taking constant damage. That's the thing. Okay. Ow. Crap. Okay. Ah, crap. Alright. Boost Guardian. Wait. Yes. Whoa, that was close. Wow, I got him as he, as he was going into the ground. That's funny. Okay. Sub Guardians. Bo oh, I'm going to have to scan him every time I die. Damn it. Okay. First off, use your freaking white beam. Don't use anything else. 
I swear to God, if you use anything else, I'm going to kick your ass. Anyway. <laughs> uh, boost Guardian. Boost Powered Warrior Ing. Boost Ball Ability grants great, uh, great speed to enemy. Target can only be damaged in solid form. Find a way to keep it solid. Oh, oh, ow, crap. Oh, ooh, okay. Oh, it did that much damage in one hit? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, boost Guardian. Uh, uh, I hate this guy. Do, 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 do. No, 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 no. Okay, I thought I jumped in the water. But okay, uh, I can explain the fight, basically. Uh, as soon as you get in there, uh, you want to get off several light shots along with a couple, um, you know, charged light shots just to pile on the damage as fast as possible. Uh, I believe super missiles might do the same amount of damage. I'm not sure. I don't think they actually do, but uh, I'm going to be sticking with the light beam because it takes less time to do. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Um, sticking with the light beam. Uh, do your charge shots to get off about half of his health bar in the first round. Um, after that, yeah, I'm going to skip it. After that, he's going to go into the ground and basically go into ball form. At that point, you want to, um... Oh, you want to start jumping. Um, here's the thing. He's going to become a ball and boost around the room and bounce everywhere. That, that When he's in his ball form, you want to be a human and jumping. Like, you're going to want to aim down like this and jump. That way you can keep an eye on the ground. Because it's not that big of a chamber. You know, you can see the whole chamber by, like, looking down and seeing where he is. So, jump him when he's in boost ball mode. And then, once he goes down into a puddle again, it'll be slightly yellowish. Once he's in that puddle, you're going to want to, um... On. You're gonna want to go into morph ball mode and bomb him. I know that sounds really weird, but that's what you gotta do. Okay. Where are? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Okay. One. Two. Okay. Ah. So like this. Whoa! 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 Oh God. Okay, whoa. I believe if you lay a bomb... Ow, ow, crap! I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. Just like that. See, like that, when he's in the puddle... Ow, what the hell? <laughs> he just snuck attacked me, man. I couldn't see you. You cheater. You cheating bastard. Ah, uh, that's two. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Uh, why did I decide to I need to get this done. This is going to happen eventually and it is doable. I have done it. I've only done it once, but I've done it. So, I Oh my god, why the hell did I decide to do this? Man. I question my own sanity. And I wonder why I did less damage than before, because I hit him with two charge shots and didn't do as much. That's strange. It's not that big of an issue, but I remember, like, in the first round, I got him down to halfway, so it's like, damn. Uh, anyway. What I need, uh, something I do need to do is, uh, skip that, yeah, yeah. Um, kill the preeds, or, what are, are these puffers or preeds? Yeah, preeds, okay. I don't know why they keep changing the names of enemies, because in Metroid Prime 1, um, those same enemies, like, uh, you know, they're like floating metallic, uh, puffer thingies, they're called puffers, and in this, they're called preeds. I don't know why, because it is literally the same enemy, because puffers are, um, space pirate security thingies, and preeds are space pirate security thingies. So I don't know why they're changing the name. Uh, another one would be uh, the Harmony class drone. Uh, they're called Bomboos. Not Bomboos as in a black boo from Super Mario Galaxy. It's just Bomboo. I don't know why they changed the names, but they do. So, okay. This is the thing I was referring to. You're going to want to jump and then Morph Ball because you actually save a teensy bit of health by doing that. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoo! 
There we go. Okay, I did my. Okay. Oh no no no! What are you? What are you? What are you doing? You insane maniac! Whew. Oh my god. Okay. Whoa. Now that is your source of health. Crap! Crap! Okay. I think if you. Oh whoa 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 whoa! God. Now. Oh god no. There. Oh god. No. No 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 no. Whoa, whoa. Oh my god. Oh my god. No! I don't need missiles, you son of a bitch! Oh, man. That inglet. He didn't give me any health. Why didn't he give me... Oh, okay. You know what? I'm going to do... Okay, hang on. I got an idea. That's going to be an issue. I cannot have that be an issue. So, hang on. Skip that. Do, 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 do. Give me missiles. I need missiles. There. Okay. I cannot have that be something that is happening to me. Okay. Because if that if I didn't if I wasn't missing missiles, I would have been fine. He would have given me a, a super energy thingy. And I would have been able to keep going. So okay. Um those pillars ah ooh, that was close. Uh the pillars in the arena, if he boosts into them and breaks them, uh they drop an ultra energy unit. Every time. It's always ultra. So, um go for that. Uh, like, if you can see him going into ball mode and you can actually line it up right, make it so that he'll uh, hit those things because you want that energy, obviously. Okay, good. It's nice when I land on the second level in this because now I don't have to bomb as much. Of course, if I had the spring ball, like uh, the trilogy version, I wouldn't need to do that. Oh, I, mean, I wouldn't need to bomb at all. Okay, do that. Any energy? No cheap cheap skates. But okay. Uh, let me see. Go in there. Use the light beam. Aim down. Jump for the boost ball. Kill things to get energy. I don't think there's really anything else I need to explain about this guy other than just he's an asshole. So, uh, yeah. Go in there with full missiles. Use your light beam. Fire two shots, and then. Two regular shots and then two charge shots. For some reason, he's able to be hit by two charge shots after that. So, yeah. Um, I may or may not scan him. You know, just because I'm not interested. I'm not concerned with scans. So, yeah. Um, I think now is when I'm probably just going to cut to me winning. You know what I mean? One, two. Charge. Charge. Oh, what the hell? It didn't work. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna cut until I win. You know, the winning run. So, yeah. I'll, I'll keep narrating! Whoa! Jeez! Okay. One, two, three. Oh my god, stop doing that, you ass! Okay. Ah, no, no, no! Enemy on me! Okay, good. That's what happens. He's going to, you gotta bomb him a few times and then you're able to do it. Like he comes back up. Oh my god, you ass! Where is it? Okay, good, I got it. Crap. Whoa, whoa, okay. Uh, not going too bad. Not really, whoa! And he broke another one. God, stop breaking him! I know that sounds weird to say, but oh my god. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Ouch. Pick him one up. Oh my god. That was close. Ouch. Okay, wait, wait. Ow, no. God, get off. Get off me. You asshole. No. Oh, crap. I think I'm dead now. Uh, maybe? Ah, ah, whoa, ooh, jeez, no, okay, whoa, whoa, oh, damn it, enemies, give me my energy, you assholes, crap, I gotta get up, whoa, oh, come on, ah, no, 
Okay. okay. Wait. Oh my god. The concentration. So much. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, wait. Whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Inglets. Oh, oh no, 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 no! Oh, damn it! There was energy there! Ah! Oh. Man! This is 20 minutes of this video! Nothing but this guy! So after- I, I'm gonna cut now. Cause now you've seen exactly how I'm gonna fight this guy. So yeah, I will see you whenever I win or whenever I die. Damn it! Man! Oh, that was cheap. But, oh, come on! Shit! Damn it! Man, I was doing so good! <gasps> Shit! God, man! I was just about to get some energy! Man! Damn it! What the hell hit me? That oh, it must have been the uh, the atmosphere. Come on, hit a pillar. Come on, dead. Jeez, man, that was horrible. Oh damn! I almost made it through the tunnel. That's cool. God, get in the ball faster. Jeez. Well, that's awesome. <laughs> Oh my god, I think I might have it. Oh no! Damn it! No, no! Oh no, no, no! Oh, come on! I had. <laughs> Damn it! Oh, man! God, man. I hate this guy. Yes! I think I might have it. Or not. Oh my god, no. Not again. Okay. More health. Come on. Come on. Get out here. Oh my god, are you kidding? Oh, what the hell? It gave me light energy! Why didn't you give me health? Ugh! Ow, ow, shit. Come on! Ugh! Nice! Oh my god! Did you see that? Man, I'm a good shot. Rap, rap! What the hell was that, man? Ah! Uh, couldn't even break one pillar. Damn! Oh man, that was a good shot. Not gonna lie. Damn it! What the hell was that? Ah! Oh, why did he rush over there, man? Smile, you son of a! Ugh! Yeah! Scan it, scan it, quick, 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 quick! Ah! Oh, <laughs> yeah! Ugh! Sorry if I'm loud, but suck it, you bitch! It is doable. See? It's hard as balls, but I did it. Ugh! Be sure you get your energy, otherwise you could still die. <sighs> Whew. Okay, so I am up to an hour and four minutes now. I have no idea what the hell or how long the video is actually going to be. But in an hour and four minutes, we got the boost ball with one energy tank. So it is doable.
the hell out of here. Okay. Now, if I die, I will be so pissed. Okay. So, when you're in a half pipe, let go of your boost in the middle of the half pipe and you can gain altitude. So there's your first dark temple key. Ugh, boost ball required. Oh my god. Whew, and as you can see, uh, I don't know if you may have noticed it just from the montage of deaths, but uh, I changed my dark beam ammo. As you can see, I have a full 100. Basically what I did was, uh, at the safe, at the save zone, um, at the save station, whatever, I used my light beam to get full dark beam ammo, because, <clears throat> in that fight, as you could plainly see, you don't really have the time to, um, to be swapping beams in and out, you know, to deal with the little guys. So what I did was, I filled up on dark beam ammo so that I could use my light beam to kill the little guys and get their and get health from them without needing to swap beams and if you have full dark beam ammo there's a uh you have a less there's less of a chance that things will drop the uh ammo if you have full they still will drop it every now and then but you know it's not as common so i'm gonna go back here and i am going to save my game Oh, thank God. All right, that's boss. That's uh, scary boss number one taken care of. Oh, my God, that is such a relief. You have no idea. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to cut. So, yeah, um, I will be right back in just a little bit. Um, I'm going to be doing something weird. I don't really need to explain it. It's more or less just an editing thing on my part. So, yeah, uh, I will be right back. So... I'll see you in just a sec. Okay, and I'm back. Oh my god. Oh. That was... Oh wait, I forgot I muted the TV. Okay, there we go. Anyway, sorry about that. I just needed to, um... Basically, what I did was I... Well, I mean, I don't... Uh, what? I thought I... Wait. I guess I just need to go to a, that portal. Okay, well, whatever. Anyway, um... Oh, what did I do? Basically, I just put the uh, the video in uh, Sony Vegas just to see, um... You know, after everything is all said and done, I wanted to know how long the video was because I had no friggin' clue how long the, uh, the finished product was gonna be. So it's like, okay, how the hell long do I record? You know what I mean? So it's like, now I know how long I need to go for before I you know, stop. And that way it'll still be a, a good length video for this series. So we're all good. Alright, open the portal and jump through. Get me out of here. Oh my god. But okay, now that we have the boost ball, um, we need to go and get yet another power because that will enable us to actually progress. This might actually throw you for just a teensy bit. Um, the game will basically... Oh my god, sorry. Ugh. The game will basically tell you eventually what you need to do. But uh, once you get the boost ball, um, you have to go and get something else. And you can't progress like at all without it. So, yeah. And I believe this is how this is how you climb the tree in a uh, regular Aether. You have to use the boost ball and that half pipe to actually get up here. Uh, I believe this is just a missile expansion, if I remember right. Uh, dark door. Let's, wait, wait, where's this go? This is a room I haven't even been in yet. Uh, huh. Hey, wait, where's this go? Oh, it goes here. Okay, cool. That works for me. Um, ooh, yeah, and hey, we get a new enemy here. This is a, uh, a thing. It is a crocus. Toxin-eating forager, heavily armored. Attack when it exposes its gills to damage it. I don't feel like doing that, because they're nice. They're not mean, if I remember right. Um, let's see. Yeah, there's nothing down here. I thought there might have been a missile expansion you needed to roll to, but no. So, okay, this is the exact same room we were just in in Dark Aether. And there's another one. I'm going to leave him alone. I feel bad when i got to kill the animals in this game. It's like, man, 
They're just trying to live. Ah, and here we go. Once you come here in White Aether, you can uh, access this because it was in Dimensional Flux in Dark Aether. This is a spinner. Roll, ow, 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 ow. Wait a minute. Don't zap me, you asshole. And why do you exist here, here, and in Dark Aether? That's weird. But okay, uh, in here you got a missile door. Uh, I guess let's go ahead and see what's in it. Because it's worth checking, I guess. Or is it? No, no, this isn't worth doing yet, because I think we need the, uh, the spider ball for that, which we, we don't have, and we're not going to have that for a while, if I remember right. I mean, well, I mean, whatever. Okay, oh, no, 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 don't bomb out of it. You roll in there, and then you just spin, and that activates things. That's pretty much it. And, of course, now it's active in Dark Aether as well. So, um, when you go through the portal here... Um, you can very easily get back here with Dark on Dark Aether. So, what we need to do is we gotta leave. We got to uh, we gotta leave Torvus Bog, and we gotta go and get something else. Because now that we have the boost wall, we have access to one area that uh, we saw before that we couldn't access. Ah, Grunchler in here. I forgot about you. All right. Well, at least you're not a boost guardian. Hell, I ought to make a spore creature after the Grunchlers. That'd be kind of cool. I could do it. I just think I need a different mouth. Mostly just because the only Grunchler-like mouth isn't really big enough to really be a Grunchler mouth. You know what I mean? Other than that, yeah, I could do it. That'd be fun. I ought to just start having videos about my spore creatures. Like, just make a whole ton of them and then see what people think. That'd be kind of cool. Just have, like, a little montage. That'd be cool. God, I love Spore. Or at least I just... I, the thing is, I'm not really a huge fan of the game after you after the creature phase. The creature phase is awesome. You know, when you're actually just an animal and you go around eating things and stuff? And also befriending things if you're, uh, if you're an herbivore? That's so much fun. Like, oh my god. But once you get into, like, the RTS stuff, um, it's not quite as fun for me. I don't really know why. Ah. I'm just not really the RTS kind of guy, you know what I mean? But whatever. They keep it simple because you don't really ever get more than more guys than you can really handle. It's not like, uh, like, well, I don't really play enough. Oh, hey, now we can open these doors. It's not really, uh, it's not an overload. You don't get like 2,000 people to oversee. It's only like 10 or so, at least in the tribal phase. Haha, <laughs> you died. Oh, you didn't die. On, die. There we go. Yay, thank you for the missiles. And yet another uh oh it's not a super missile door. Okay. But yeah, um now that we have the boost ball, we can actually travel a lot faster too, because we can just boost ball around. It's kinda cool. Alright. Now be careful here because I seem to remember there being pirate commandos that pop up here. Wait. Oh come on! Oh, okay, well at least he died. Um Okay, there's no pirate commandos, thank god. Okay, so, go ahead and use the... Oh, wow, that was lucky. Damn, I didn't think I'd get up there that fast. But yeah, uh, I could have gotten this before, but whatever. Now that you have the boost ball, you can get up here because of the half pipe. And roll on through here, and then start going slow. Because... Ah, right here. Uh, you're going to need to boost over these. So there you go. And if I didn't explain how to boost, you just press and hold B and then release. So, hold B until you're glowing and then release. And then you boost. That's pretty much all there is to it. It's a really, really easy ability to use. But okay, um, that's a door we obviously can't open until we get the ability that is in here. And um, in here, this is actually a pretty cool room. Um, this is just beneath the Great Temple, like up in... Wait a minute. Up there... You know, in that area up there, uh, that's where Umos is, in that area above us. That's pretty cool. So here, you can get um, information about all the previous Sentinels of Aether, which is pretty cool. I like that. Uh, now, this puzzle can be kind of annoying if, um, if you do it the wrong way, but basically you just want to go um, from the interior out. That's it. Oh, wait, 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 no. Okay, that's that. So to do that. Uh, I think there there is a pattern. I think it's like red, yellow, green, blue or something. Okay, wait. 
No, come on. There. Okay. Red, yellow. That's blue. Oh no, uh blue purple? I don't remember. Okay, yeah, that's it. Alright. Hey, I got it on my first shot. Not bad. So yeah, you just want to go from the inside to the outside because as you can see, the last two spin uh, correctly. And there you go. That's all there is to it. Now, if you get the order wrong, that can be a real pain in the ass, but thankfully I did not. Now this is an incredibly useful ability because we're going to be using it to get other incredibly useful abilities. This is... Yeah, well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. The Seeker Missile. Yeah, this thing's cool. Yay. Okay. Oh, the Seeker Missile is just like the, um... Did that count as a missile expansion? I think it did. That's weird. But anyway, the Seeker Missile is just like the, uh... Um the super missile in that it takes five missiles other than that they're pretty much completely different um, the seeker missile can be used to target five things at once and then hit them all at the same time although sometimes it kind of freaks out it doesn't really do what it's supposed to do uh, sometimes if you shoot a seeker missile door um, incorrectly or well I mean from an incorrect distance I guess uh, it doesn't really want to hit all five targets. It only hits like four, which that can be kind of annoying, but whatever. Um, over here, uh, scan this Luminoth here. This is another one of the, the special Luminoth, so don't forget about him. Uh, you got a Dark Crystal here, and hey, look, it's our ship. Uh, the reason why I'm coming here is... Oh, I thought you... I thought you got a second scan from your ship, but whatever. Uh, if you go to your ship, you can actually... You can save the game... But you can also refill all of your ammo, including the dark and light beams. I don't know how Samus is able to produce dark and light energy from her ship when these are previously undiscovered weapons in the series, but I'm not going to complain because it's very useful to have a ammo and save station, including missiles, all in one. So yeah, whenever you're by your ship, which honestly is not often, uh, I'd recommend doing that just because, you know, it helps. Especially when I only had, like, 30 light beam ammo. That sucked. Ah. Alright, super missile door. Boom. Okay, so... Um... Now that we have a whole bunch of upgrades, I'm actually gonna go... I'm not going back to Torvus just yet. I'm going back to Agon Wastes, because I got a ton of stuff to pick up there. And... Uh, this is pretty much required for how I play this. So... Yeah, I'm going to go and pick them up. I'll see you guys in Agon Wastes. And we're also going to pick up the other power-ups I missed there. So, yeah. Oh, so hey, uh, I found something. Um, let's see. Oh. In the area that is just outside, you know, the Agon Transporter, if you come here, this communication area, remember the area with the... Um, the really big uh, satellite dish that we activated. Um, hang on, let me kill these guys real quick. Uh, get out of here. There we go. Why don't these guys drop any energy? Man. Uh, anyway, if you come over here, uh, you can bomb this out, and you can get a missile expansion. So, yeah, that's another miss ex uh, missile expansion here in the temple grounds. Um, whoa, that was weird. Um... On the map, it is the communication area, and as you can see, I only came here because the storage cavern A, and actually, I think there's another missile expansion in there, so I'm going to see if I can grab that real quick. I don't know if I can, but I will definitely try. Ah, come on, go. Uh, you need the space jump to access this, so technically right after Agon you could do this, but uh, yeah. And this is yet another really important room. This is one um, that has one of the later items in the game, as you can see. Special Luminoth. So, yeah. And is there nothing else here? I guess not. Okay. So, yeah. Um, just one missile expansion. And anyway, I will see you back in Agon. So, yeah. Okay, so here we are at item number one. Um, I'm here in the Space Pirate area, and I'm just about to go into the Metroid room. Did I ever scan them? I think I did. 
And here's the uh, space pirate crates. So yeah, that's them scanned. Yeah. Uh, no, I did not. Wow. This is a Talon Metroid. Namesake of the series. They eat you. So yeah, you want to kill them. Whoop. Um, they are annoying. Um, they are weak to... Ah! Crap! Okay, wait. Get out of here, man. There. They're weak to the dark beam. So yeah, it says that they are weak to the chilling effect of dark energy. So yeah, uh, dark beam. Anyway, uh, there's the Metroids. Let me get my dark energy back. Man, I just had it full a little while ago, but no. Gonna make me dump a whole gallon of dark energy. I'm killing some Metroids. Anyway, a uh, dark door up here that I never got before, and here it is. This is the missile expansion. Friggin' finally. I should have had that a long time ago, but it just slipped my mind. Um, this, uh, this super missile door, I'm fairly certain we actually can't access that yet, so we're going to ignore that. So, yeah. Um, next stop is, uh, wait, where is it? Uh, over here. So we're going to go to the temple, and then we're going to go into the mine shaft, And then we're going to do the important thing that I can't get through the game without. So, yeah, I will see you guys there. Okay, so here we are. Uh, we're back in the temple now, and here's the dark door that we want to go through. So let's get going. Um, there's the energy tank, so as you can see, I am right here. So, yeah. Uh, to make things quick, just drop down here, and you're pretty much already there. Yep, there we go. Okay, now this is where the Seeker Missile can be a little bit annoying. In these really, really tight rooms, um, it can be hard to get it to hit all five targets. But okay, this is a very, very important room for my playthrough. Because uh, I got stuck on a boss. Uh, the first time I did this, I got stuck on a boss. And um, this was the only way I found that I could beat him. So yeah. Oh, and also, there's an enemy here that only appears in this room, so it's important that you scan them. They are, uh, this guy. A Crawly. Dimensional Warping Bioform. Um, these guys, they don't really do anything. They just kind of warp around. They don't attack you. Uh, we've seen versions of them. And what's this? Uh, Denzium. Okay, whatever. Um, I believe you can come back here for something else, but here, I'm gonna just... There, I'm just gonna kill him to get him out of the way. Um, up here, gonna need to scan this. Okay. Turn that warp cannon on, and then you can scan some lore up there. Talks about the, uh, the asteroid that, whoa, he's back. Okay. Um, okay, let me see. What do I need to do here? Because I've seen, I've done this before, but it's been forever since I've done it, so yeah. Alright, so. Um... Okay, yeah, I know what to do. Come on. Come on, my god. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is get up here and uh, get into the kinetic warp cannon. And then bomb your way into this bomb slot. There you go. And it will raise it up and it will destroy that wall. That's very, very important. And then after it destroys the wall, it won't actually come down all the way again. So, you're going to need to do something different to actually get up there. Okay, whoop, good. Uh, you're going to need to boost up here and go up here and then come down there. Ah, there is our destination. It's up there. Grr, I want it. Um, so now, you're going to want to use your... Uh, you're going to want to go through this portal. Unskippable cutscenes! Don't you all love them? As I know I don't. Ugh. Come on. Okay, at least it's not that long of one. Okay, um... I forgot. Oh, okay, yeah, we just need to do a little bit of platforming, that's all. Oh, no! Oh. Yeah, that's where... That's pretty much where you need to go. The Night Barb show you where to go. See, they're friendly. <laughs> um... Yeah, there's nothing in there. Then jump on up here. This is really... Like, this is nothing. Like, there's no fighting. Yeah. Gross. Wormgina. Um, tch, God. Um, so now you're going to want to go through this door. What's over here? Oh, nothing. <laughs> I'm going to go through this door and then through this uh, morph ball segment. Okay. 
Whoa, 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 what are those? Was that... Those weren't night barbs, I know that. That was weird. Oh, well, I guess I couldn't have scanned them anyway, so, yeah. Kill the plants for no reason. Oh, well, no, actually, I could use some missiles. And, look here! We're in this door that you could never access before, and you also can't access this for any other reason. Doesn't that suck? I hate that. They put a portal right in your face. Like, God, what is that for? And then you can only use it for one thing. Even though if those bars were destroyed, it would be very, very helpful. Because, like, couldn't you put some kind of, you know, scan thing, like, right here so we could lower the bars or something? And then it's like, you can't scan it from the other side? That would, so, that would be very, very helpful, you know? But no. Anyway, those are sand bats. I know that. Anyway, gonna let him... Oh, okay. There we go. Um, there's just a little rock in there. You just gotta bomb it out, and then you're done. So, here we go. This is required for me. Probably not for other people, but for me, I could not beat a boss without it. So, yeah, I don't know how you could, but who knows. Maybe you can. Yeah, we got the Dark Burst. Basically is the super missile for dark for the dark beam. And now I'm gonna get out of here. Yeah, because pirates show up and I don't feel like fighting them. So ah go away, man. I don't got time for you. Haha, -ha, see? I really don't have time for you. Oh what the hell? I thought that's supposed to kill the pill bugs, man. Anyway, um I think that's about it. Because now we can get advance in the game. Um, uh, I can't think of anything else I might need to do. Um, let's check the map, I guess. Oh, wait, no, 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 I know something. And uh, that light door, that's for something else later on. Uh, you need power, uh, power bombs to get that. Um, okay, you know what? I'll head on over there, because I can show that. Because it's useful. And in all honesty, it's what I should have done. But whatever, I didn't feel like going back through Torvus. So, you know what, because I've, I've cut out, I've done a lot of editing for this video, I'm not going to edit this out, because I don't care. Sucks I don't have a counter, like back in Obliterate Twilight Princess. Man, you know, I ought to do another Let's Obliterate, you know? Uh, okay. Watch my sick-ass platforming! Aw, oh, it didn't work. <laughs> no, 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 don't kill me, please! Leave me alone! I ain't doing nothing to you! Okay, now wait, am I going the right way? Yes, I am. Okay, good. Um, I have no idea what I would do, though. That's the thing. It's like, I was thinking of doing, like, Skyward Sword, but the thing is, I hate that game, so it's like, eh, it would more or less just be, let's get really, really pissed off at Skyward Sword. So, yeah, that's not gonna happen. I don't really have anything that... I guess I could do, like, a more... Ah! I could do, like, a Mario game, but, like, I'm really not... I don't care about Mario, uh, you know, the tr you know the normal ones, you know? Sun Sunshine is a little bit annoying, you know? Oh, there's a portal up there? Where does this go to? Wait a minute, I will find out. Ah! Whoa, whoa, no, no! No, no! Okay, good. <laughs> Alright, what's up here? I think this is a missile expansion, if I remember right. Let's let's see. But yeah, obviously you need the boost ball to get this, so we couldn't have gotten this earlier. So let's see, what is this? Aha, missile expansion. Nice. Very quick and easy missile expansion right there. Now... Oh, come on, there's no portal on the... Ah. Alright, fine. Uh, I guess I'll just go back in the, uh, the dark light room. Because... Ow! Because that makes sense, right? Come on. Load! You bastard. Alright. I'm expecting some dark pirates. I think they are. I think they're actually... Yep, there they are. Haha, you're dead. And you're dead too. <laughs> God, just destroyed their asses. Alright. There's that. Um... 
yeah, pi the pirates are really, really easy to kill. They're kind of... Honestly, the dark pirates, I think they're possessed by really stupid Aang. So they just kind of run right into the, um... They run right into the light, uh, the supercharged crystals. So that's really convenient, actually. Man, why are there so many hives in here? Do you see that? There was two for every single part. Like, there's... The hives come in twos. What the hell? But okay, good to get that missile expansion out of the way. And somebody commented and said they had 65 missiles at the end of Agon Wastes. How the hell did you get that many missiles at the end of Agon Wastes? I didn't know there was that many. Although maybe, I'm assuming what they did was um, they got all the Agon Wastes um, power-ups, and then they left Agon Wastes, and then they went back and got some of the Temple Grounds ones. That's my only guess as to how they have that many. Like, damn, dude. But okay, once you come in here with the Seeker Missile, obviously, uh, we have access to Torvus Bog via this one. So that's really, really helpful. Yeah, I don't... Oh, okay, so we're going down. That's one thing about the Metroid game, or Metroid Prime games that never really made sense to me. Why is everything accessible via elevator? I don't get that. Like, it'd be like if you took an elevator from Georgia to Seattle. That's like, what? I don't... I really don't understand why they have it be nothing but elevators in these games, but whatever. Anyway, let's see if I can get this in one shot. Yeah, see? Sometimes it kind of doesn't work right, you know? So you gotta back up and do it again. Come on. There we go. And look at where we are. We're all the way back here. So that is a really, really useful uh, teleporter, or elevator, I guess. Um, okay, so now that we have all of that, we got the first dark key, and, um, we have everything we need in order to progress, so I'm just gonna go down in here, because this is where we need to go next. Uh, we're not gonna make any progress down here, uh, because I need yet another power-up, but, um, I mean, I don't need another power-up, it's just, you know, it's gonna be the end of the video, I assume, because I honestly have no idea where I'm at. I'm assuming something like 50-plus minutes. But okay, ah. What are these? Puffers? Oh, these are Preeds. Yeah, these are regular Preeds, not the dark ones. Because I've only ever seen the dark ones so far, so yeah. Um, shoot the Preeds. And this place has cool music, even though I hate the area. Just because it always confuses me, but it's not its not that bad. It's just I've always been confused by it in the past. Uh, up here you got a missile lore, and there's a save room. So, huh, I'm going to go ahead and end it off. And next time, we are going to, um, we're going to progress in the Torvus uh, sewer level. So, yeah. That'll be fun. Right? Right? Hint, it won't be. Anyway, see you then.